am Clive Rossfield, brother and shield of Joshua. And you're watching Primal Liquid. Joshua-san, Koji, uh, Mr. Gawa-san, first of all, thank you both very much for allowing mm -hmm. me to be here. Um, my name's Sam, uh, Primal Liquid on YouTube. And pretty much, I just make Final Fantasy videos, so this is an honour. Um, thank you very much for allowing me to do this interview. Uh, now, Yoshida-san, um, could we just get you to introduce yourself for everybody watching, please? Hi. Uh, no, it's fine in Japanese, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Minasan, konnichiwa, Final Fantasy 16 producer no Yoshida desu. Zehi, saigo made foran kudasai. Thank you. And uh, now, Minikawa san and Koji san, uh, could we please ask you two to do the same? Thank you. Minikawa san, Koji san, Zehi, and Koji Hello everyone, I am Michael Christopher Koji Fox and I am the localization director on Final Fantasy 16. Brilliant, thank you very much. Now, with Final Fantasy 14, Yoshida san, and Final Fantasy 16, I think one of the biggest questions a lot of people have asked before is are you getting enough rest currently? あの、まず最初の質問なんですけれども、あの、吉田さん、あの、同時に14の、あの、16の仕事大変、あの、忙しいと思うんですけれども、あの、ちゃんと睡眠は取り込まれてしょうか？No. <笑><笑> no. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people would be sad to hear that. <笑>あの、申し訳ございません。大丈夫です。大丈夫です。あの、一応補足しておくと、僕元々結構ショートスリーパーで、別に。なんだろう。14やる前から、担当する前から結構5時間とか4時間半ぐらいしか元々寝てないので、あの、あんまり変わってないです、そういう意味だと。But um, maybe you know, uh, maybe a lot of you don't know, I'm not um, someone that needs a lot of sleep. Um, even before I started working on Final Fantasy 16, um, I only really slept about 4 or 5 hours a day anyway. I'm not fine with that amount, so don't need to worry about me. Well, I'm sure you just put quite a lot of people at ease. Um, now, thankfully, I was allowed to ask for community suggestive questions, and one of the most important ones that I think has been asked quite a lot is, will Final Fantasy 16 have grapes? あの、ありがとうございます。その答えを聞いて安心したファンもあのたくさんいると思います。で、あの、今回はあの、許可いた許可いただいてコミュニティに質問を募集しました。で、その中で本当に大事な質問がもうよく出てきたんですけども、16は
collectibles or just stock in general. We've recently seen this happen to the Final Fantasy 16 Collector's Edition where they're being resold online for extreme high profits. Is Square taking any sort of steps to combat this? ちゃんとした質問なんですけれども、現在は、あの、売れ切れており、すっごい、あの、高い値段で今、あの、<笑> スクエアニックスメンバーズを持ってないと抽選に参加できないとか、例えば 14の課金をしてないと取り組んではできる限り取り組んではいる抽選にすることによってそのできるだけ応募してきたそのデータを見てこう信頼が受けるかどうかみたいなチェックはしてるんですけど、100% um, so yeah, this is, a, a, again, a very, very difficult issue. Um, it's something that, um, again, is very important to us. Um, it's something that we have discussed a lot internally. Um, and, you know, there are several ways, you know, things that we could do to try to combat this. Um, we have a lot of ideas. For example, you have to be uh, one of the Square Enix members to be able to, you know, order uh, the collector's edition or Perhaps you have to be a Final Fantasy XIV subscriber to um, order certain type of goods, um, or things like that. Um, but again, even by doing that, you're always going to have people that are going to, again, become those members so that they can do the same thing anyway. They're going to still resell. So it's a different, it's very, very difficult to distinguish a lot of times between those players that really want to buy it and those um, that just want to resell the items. Um, you know, we're always going to try different things, we're always going to explore new avenues. But to get to cover a hundred percent of everything, get that down to you know, having zero resales is going to be pretty much close to impossible because people are going to find a way to do it. Um, again, that doesn't mean we're not going to try, um, and we're going to keep trying and keep trying new ideas to combat this. Um, but again, I don't think there's any way that we're probably going to ever be able to get that down to zero. Mm. But at least it's an issue that Square is very much well aware of and is actively trying to stop it and slow the process down. Um, now I know we're here to talk about Final Fantasy 16, but you also did do the impossible with Final Fantasy 14. You managed to bring the game back and essentially save it and transform it into the behemoth it is today. During that process, was there anything that you learned that you think has drastically helped out with the production of 16? この問題に向き合っていること自体がすごくあの、あの、ま、
まあでもやっぱりストーリーを完全フィックスさせてから作るみたいなところは、はい、あの今までの多分ナンバリングとはちょっと違った作り方だっなんだろうなとは思いますね It's completely different than Final Fantasy XIV.、Um, the tech、um, that we're using is completely different.、Um, and so, in those, those cases, there's not much that we could draw from XIV experience.、Um, that said,、um, one thing、um, that we did want to carry over、um, from XIV was, again, having a solid story and have a complete story.、Um, and I think、uh, from the beginning of development, and I think that is. Very different、um, from a lot of Final Fantasy games、um, in the past. I t h i n k I t h i n k I think I think I think I think I think I t h i n e I think 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 こうやるかやらないかすごく中途半端なバトルシステムになってしまうぐらいだったらやらないならやらないでいいとかそういうところは結構14で学んだっていうよりもうちのチームの結構特性かもしれないですね。The other thing that again that we've carried over、um, from Final Fantasy XIV is that、um, we're very clear on you know doing things we can't do but then not going out of our way to do things that we know we're not going to be able to do. Um, and drawing the line there and deciding if something's not going to fit the game, to cut that out and never worry about it again.、Um, and make those decisions, those tough decisions, I think.、Um, example, you know, we had our story. We realized early on that, okay, a lot of people want an open world game, but an open world's not going to fit with the story that we want to tell. So let's just not do an open world game.、Um, you know, we know that a lot of people want、um, a turn based game,、um, command turn based game. We want to make an action game. Maybe we could try to find a hybrid, but rather than having that be something that you know, doesn't work, okay, we're going to make an action game. No commands at all. And making those tough decisions and being able to say, okay, we can do this, we're going to do this, we're not going to do this, so we're not going to even try.、Um, and making that decision is, I think, something that we've carried over from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Um, and, and then the other thing、um, that, again, we've brought over from Final Fantasy XIV is to be open、um, with the players and the community and let them know exactly what we're going to do and not lie to them, not you know,、um, try to pull the wool over their eyes and tell them exactly what、um, they're going to get. I have that trust. Visual is a good thing. I have a lot of people who are in the same way. I have a lot of people who are in the same way. I have a lot of people who are in the same way. 出来上がっているのであの16固有の問題が起こった時でも、まあ、あの誰に相談したりとかヘルプに来てもらえばこの問題がクリアできるかっていうのが考えやすかったっていうところはあのすごくメリットだったかなと思っています。ビジュアリー and、um, you know, on this side of the game is that、um, dealing with the graphics and environment a lot of the staff that worked on that also Uh, that worked on that in Final Fantasy XVI also worked in Final Fantasy XIV. And I knew that staff very well from having worked with them for a long time. And so when we would run into similar problems、um, on Final Fantasy XVI, I knew exactly who to ask to solve that problem because I'd been working with them for so long. And so that is something that, again, we can bring from Final Fantasy XIV is that knowledge that we had there and knowing exactly who to ask to solve the problems. <laughs> 誰それくん今元気とか言うと持ってかれるんじゃないかってすごいこう警戒されます。And of course there are a lot of the staff that didn't come over to Final Fantasy XVI that are still on XIV, but I knew that that person maybe knew that could solve a problem that I had on Final Fantasy XVI, and so you know I would go on chat and say, Hey, how you doing, so and so, and then they'd all be like, Oh no, am I going to get pulled off of XIV and then put on Final Fantasy XVI? So there's all this kind of fear amongst the Final Fantasy XIV staff for you know, whenever he was going to call him up and say, Hey! <laughs> well, that's absolutely great. I mean, it's always the case of finding the right person for the job, and、uh, you've got all those connections that all problems can be solved just with 
a simple message. Uh, now, likewise for you, uh, Koji, you are pretty much known in the 14 community as being a little bit of a prankster. Can we expect any of the like, item descriptions or such things to make it into 16? そうですね。まあ、その人と人のつながりがあるからこそ、そのメッセージ一つ送るぐらいでも大解決できるっていうこと自体が素晴らしいぞと、あの思います。で、あの次の質問なんですけれども、ぜひ、あの、コージさんへ
重要だと思っていましたしそれをどう伝えていくかっていうところでいろんなタイトルの名前だったりあの、まあ、ゲームタイトルだったり映像作品だったりっていうのをあのスタッフに対して説明するときに使いました。So,、um, for example, you know, you see the art here.、Um, this is done by our、uh, main、uh, artist, Kazuya Takashi, who not only、um, you know, designed all of our characters, but also designed a lot of those original、uh, concept art for the environments as well. And、um, again, as you can see, you know, he has this very fantastical、um, style uh, that uh, he uses, but that is very hard to translate into a game. And so, it's my job. To be that translator that figures out how to get this into the game while retaining that feel of the original artwork.、Um, and to do this,、um, we have to go and take a look at how other games were able to take their concept art and put it into games and what tricks and they used to make sure that that is accurately represented. And so, it's playing a lot of different games, watching a lot of different movies,、um, absorbing all of this different type of visual entertainment、um, to learn how best. To take this art and make sure we can represent it 100% in game.、Uh, last question, please. Yep, no problem. Absolutely brilliant. First of all, thank you very much. I know we're running low on time now.、Uh, Yosha san, if there's anything else you'd like to say to the audience,、uh, please go right ahead. Hi. えー、インタビューありがとうございました。ファイナルファンタジー16はいよいよ6月22日、えー、発売になります。もうここまで来たら発売日延期もありませんので、ぜひ体験版リリースされたら体験版を落としてですね、えー、セーブデータ引き継げますので、そのまま新たなファイナルファンタジーシリーズの物語にどっぷり使っていただければと思います。えー、ファイナルファンタジー16プロデューサーの吉田と、えー、アートディレクターの皆川と、えー、ローカライゼーションディレクターのマイケル・クリストファー・コージ・フォックスでしたありがとうございました。Alright。Thank you everyone、um, for and thank you for the interview.、Um, it's been a lot of fun. Final Fantasy 16 you know is coming out on June 22nd.、Um, if we made it this far without delays, we can tell you right now there are going to be no more delays. It's coming out on June 22nd.、Um, Play the demo, carry over your data, enjoy the epic story. Thank you from me, producer Naoki Yoshida, art director Yoshimi Nagawa, and myself,、uh, Michael Christopher Koji Fox, localization director. Bye!